The fog is rather thicker than I imagined, Hubert. And if I'm not mistaken... Yes, I agree. Dark magic is assuredly the cause. We already know those who slither in the dark have had comings and goings at House Row. I doubt one of them is here, but there could be a mage present to receive their training. Then we had best leverage our own assets. Why is everyone whispering? Is the enemy aware of our coming? It's entirely possible, yes. They could be directly on top of us, and we would scarcely know it. So yes, let us all stay on our toes. Prudent of you to bring it up, Ferdinand. Ah, thank you. I, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, why so quiet, Caspar? Normally you'd be at the front of the line making all kinds of racket. What, you think I'm the kind of guy who'd get all scared and give our position away? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not afraid of anything. Hmm. You're unusually quiet, Petra. Did you not get enough sleep or something? I am listening to our surroundings. Nothing has more danger than fog. One incorrect step and you will be losing your life. <laughs> Can we all try to relax? I'm pretty sure we're alone out here, so let's just calm down before we wear ourselves out. Sometimes you all make me think we're still back at the Academy. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Well, great. I was hoping to finish this before reinforcements arrive, but so be it. I will prioritize locating Lord Lenato. Can I leave the Imperial troops to you? I know what to do, so let me do it already. Just mind this fog and make sure you don't attack the wrong side. That goes for you as well. Let us see if you can live up to your reputation. The closer we get, the denser the fog. I can barely make out my own feet. Which will prove useful for Lord Lenato. As he possesses low numbers, the man will doubtless take any. We need to find him before the kingdom comes and take him into our protection. Lord Lenato will surely be hiding in one of these strongholds of winter mess. The fog will provide cover, but not forever. We need to go. We're not really going to stumble our way through this suit, are we? I thought we had some sort of solution. Hold strong, men! Starting the mission. Is that an order? It's Bernie's time to shine! Alright, let's keep moving. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone, to me! His lordship needs us! Lord Lenato's forces appear to be fighting a losing battle. We must help them if we can. Send whatever troops we can spare. I got this! Now we can see the enemy, but they can also be seeing us. Keep your wariness. I see a mage! Do you think he's responsible for all this fog? He sniffed out the spellcaster. This fog lifts. Lord Donato will have no man. The Imperial Army is here. All troops, ready yourselves to intercept. You will pay in blood for invading the lands of Fargus. How am 
I being bested by the likes of you? Thank you! Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. It's Bernie's time to shop. You need some backup? Begin. I am advancing. Starting the mission. Advancing. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone, to me! Advance! This is my safe speech, and they can't have it! Thank you! More than enough, we're sheltering deep in the eastern wood. Please, hurry to him! We have our location. Let us not waste any time getting there. All the citizens are safe. So, what should I be doing again? This way? I'm on it. All I wanted was to learn one blow from that conniving archbishop. My thanks for the rescue. That's one task off the to-do list. Now we just have to deal with the kingdom. Enemy down. Selected. Though yours is indeed a power that warns us. So I live to see another day, do I? I knew the goddess wouldn't abandon us. I don't like how close we cut us, but I'm glad you're safe. Now, we can focus on the rest of the fight. Now that Lord Ladaka was ready, we can finally dispense with the magic. Hey! The fog is gone! Now we don't have to keep running into things. How could you betray His Majesty, Lenato? How could you do this to me? Ash, you came here for me. Not Ash is your adopted son, and family should not fight family. Let us persuade him to lay down his arms instead. I'm swapping in!
It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure. Carrying that weight around for the rest of his life? I... No. You're right. I surrender. Forgive me, Ash. I beg you. I could not bear to lose another son. Our goal here is achieved. Now we hunt down any kingdom stragglers and... What? Your fun ends here. An enemy detachment. Put them to rout and make sure to keep oh, Lord Lonato safe. The mercenaries have cut off their retreat. Now's our chance to get Lonato. Not good. I must help Lord Lonato. Ready yourself for death. I see you fight for the Empire now. Just draw your weapon already. You and me have a score to settle. Starting the mission. Providing support. Not a problem. I've got this. Got you. Get into defensive positions.
Starting the mission. Advance. Witness my true power! Guess I better get in there, instead of letting the kid do all the work. Count me in, Captain. I may be a new arrival, but no one can arrival my enthusiasm. No, no. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to work. You appear to need assistance. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Not a problem. I've got this shit. And target the enemy commander instead. Doing so will force them to retreat. No! I know we were told not to engage, but isn't this a great opportunity to see how much you've grown? Witness my true power! You will not be permitted to run away in one of my strongholds. That's enough. I did what I came to do. No! I let them slip away like it was nothing. Time to face the Blade Breaker's wrath. Pushing our luck here, Alois. You decide when we fall back. You got my back? I will guard your back. I owe you one. Let's link up. Interesting. Lordship safe. 
This victory will greatly further our conquest. Well, we did it. Yet you're still the saddest looking fighter in camp. Why the long face? Because we only barely got the job done. Everything else was a miserable failure. Sure, we saved Lenato and put Gerald and his mercenaries to rout. But we let the Kingdom's troops get away in the process. And if that wasn't bad enough, I failed to beat the Ashen Demon. Basically, we lost in nearly every way you can lose. Wrong! You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. Unique danger? Not sure I'd go that far. And what other phrase would you use for a mercenary that can single-handedly change the tide of battle? If we're to win this war, the Ashen Demon needs to be eliminated as soon as possible. Then I guess my goal hasn't changed. Thanks for the encouragement. I won't let myself stop here. A useful skill. I must make the most of this ability. We must make haste. There's not a moment to lose. Understood. Randall, take your troops to Orion Road and await further instruction from Hubert. Leave it to me, Your Majesty. Why is everyone so worked up? What happened? It seems the troops we stationed in the Alliance are in danger, and serious danger at that. Gloucester and the other lords betrayed them, and now they have been completely cut off. No. The word betrayal suggests they were on our side in the first place. But I think we can safely assume that was never their intent. This whole time, they were simply waiting for us to move the rest of our army toward the kingdom. As soon as they saw an opportunity, they cut off routes to the Great Bridge of Murden and Garrick Mach. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. Perhaps it is. But perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. We'd better stay on our toes. This all fell together too perfectly to be some kind of unhappy accident. I suppose. All I know is that our reinforcements will never make it there in time. The direct route east risks running into both Kingdom and Alliance forces. But if we attempt to skirt around them, we will all be aged in grey before we ever reach Gloucester. Which means our only option is marching south. We'll regroup on this side of the Aramid River, retake the Great Bridge of Murden to cover our backs, and then cut through the enemy cordon. That doesn't sound a whole lot faster. Will our troops be able to hold out that long? I would say no, but these are no ordinary soldiers. They are commanded by our greatest warrior, Count Leopold von Berglitz, the Minister of Military Affairs, and a man who has never lost even one battle. If anyone can rally our troops and convince them to hold, it's him. What a brilliant trap. The Regan boy's even craftier than they say. I agree, sir. Even Count Gloucester's inept army seems to be acting with remarkable discipline. But will the reinforcements reach us in time? Hmm. <laughs> the real question is, are they coming at all? Because if they're on the way, they'll make it in time. So long as I draw breath, they will make it. So count on them coming. Her Majesty would never abandon us. Yes, sir! Soldiers of the Empire! 
I know fear gnaws at your hearts, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't run from this fear. Embrace it. Take measure of the enemy that surrounds us and look them square in the face. Yes, we're outmaneuvered and face a vicious fight ahead. But pray to the goddess for protection and her fire will fill your soul and temper your resolve. Our only duty here is to stay alive, be fearful of death, and let not a single soldier fall needlessly. Raise your voices with me now. Let me hear your courage. We will not lose. Wow, these guys aren't backing down. If anything, they actually seem more excited than before. How is that possible? They're completely surrounded. No one will ever reach them in time. Yes, but Count Burglase is their commander. And I'm guessing a lot of those troops are veterans of the Dagda and Bridget War. During that conflict, the Count's troops held off wave after wave of Dagda soldiers right to the very end. Our force must look tame in comparison. Okay, so what now? I wanted this to be clean, but we're looking at a complete bloodbath on both sides. What I want is the upper hand against the Empire, not these people's lives. And there's honor in that, but I don't think they're going to play along. They don't have to accept every part of it. I just thought they might be, you know, scared? Well, so be it. They may have boundless courage, but they don't have boundless food. If Count Burglies wants me to tighten the snare, that's exactly what I'll do.